Hey guys, so today's brother's lawn equipment here, and guess what? May have guessed it, what today has finally come. Yep. Also, my lawnmowers over there. May have guessed it, that it's time to get my trimmers, blowers, and lawnmowers running for 2020. So, pretty much, I think most of you may want to see my lawn equipment on YouTube, maybe. This time, I'm going to be getting the trimmers, blowers, and lawnmowers from for 2020. Because I have made one since, uh, two, I think it was 2018, like two years ago. And I didn't post the video on YouTube because it's way too long. So hopefully I should edit this. All right, so anyway, the equipment we'll be starting are the... Okay, so this part is going to be the trimmers and the blowers. And then the second part on the... I mean, the next video is going to be my two lawnmowers. Because if you know... Well, because you may notice on my Lawn Boy 10323 uh, Cold Start video last time running for 2019 was that I have another Lawn Boy, which is a 10 sets 8 to 4 stroke mower. And that one has a broken starter rope, so I can't start it. So I know it runs, but I'm gonna have to fix it. Yeah, no, man. So today it's uh, Thursday, March 19, 2020. We are going to be getting my trimmers and blowers and lawnmowers for 2020. All right, so here are the equipment we'll be doing first. My 2011 steel FS55R gas trimmer, which has a 27.2 cc two stroke engine. Next is my Ryobi RY28140. That's the model number, but I call it SS26 because it's a straight shaft trimmer. Next is my Echo G2225 gas trimmer, which is a 2016 model. This one's a 2013, and this green Ryobi powerhead called the RY251PH. This one is 25cc two-stroke engine. That one's 26. I would say that was trimmers, not the blowers. I have this, um, I think a 2002 Echo PB200 handheld blower, which is a 21.2cc two-stroke engine. My 2015. Hitachi RB24 EAP leaf blower, handle gas power blower, I mean, which is a 23.9 cc engine or 24 cc, let's call it. This is my 2015 Ryobi two cycle gas handle blower back, which is a 26 cc two stroke engine. Very similar to that Ryobi or a 2140 or SS26, let's call it. Next is my 2016 Echo PB265 and Bat Pipe Below with a 25.4 cc engine. Sweet sounding engine. This is my 2016 Steel BR200 Bat Pipe Below. Really good Bat Pipe Below. And last but not least is my 2017 Ryobi BP4U2 Bat Pipe Below with a big 42 cc engine, two stroke. Alright, so. Let's get to it. All right, so the first one we're going to be starting is my 2011 steel FS55 gas trimmer. You may have not seen this trimmer on my YouTube channel before. So, this model uses a 27.2 cc two-stroke engine. This is, uh, it has one horsepower and it's a straight shaft. And there is one more application I did put was the Speed Feed 400 head because I um, I like this head a lot better than the AutoCut 25-2 because we reload the line on the AutoCut it just takes too long so anyway this is a 27.2 cc one horsepower as well I said this is replaced by the FS56 RC which you can get right now this is no longer available and this trimmer is nine years old so anyway, let's see how it starts since it's been a uh, last run in, I think it was November of 2019. Uh, anyway, turn it on. 
joke and the bolt is right here Uh, there we go. One, two, three, four. That will get one more. Sit. All right. Let's see how well this thing starts. All right. Pull the throttle. Here we go. Runs really good. Next is my 2013 Larry SS26 gas trimmer, which is a 26cc two stroke engine. Don't know how much horsepower it is. And this one is a Spanit. So, yeah. I never featured this trimmer on my YouTube channel before. So, the other equipment that will be featured on my YouTube channel, hopefully, is this the Steel Defense 55R, my Echo GC225 trimmer, Larry B. All right, 251 pH powerhead, Echo PB200 blower, Hitachi OB2480P, right with two set gas blower rack. I did that video of a spark plug video. Uh, Echo PB265 LAN. I did the Steel BR200 review, but I'll be in my log coming videos and the very BB42. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and start this up. Put a full choke. About ten times, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be fine. All right, I have total throttle because it says you have total throttle. This one is a half crank engine, which I don't like because John Deere hundred said it's a that um he has the same trimmer, but except it's a home light mighty light. This is basically like the same. It's a throttle level is like is it right here. Mine mine's a worry because mine has a throttle lockout and the trigger right here. It's better. And compared to having a stop switch which is on the engine housing, it's right near the controls on the throttle. It's much better. Alright, let's see if it starts. Oh, 
wash them. That one's better now. All right. I gotta take out the attachment after I do the Echo. All right, so next is my 2016 Echo GT225 curb shaft trimmer with a 21.2 cc engine. This is supposedly the same engine as the um, SRM225, but it's that's SRM225 straight shaft and this is curb shaft. All right, let's go ahead and start it. Turn it on. Let's just see. Choke. A pump. Uh. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. That's fine. All right. Let's go and go get. Load. That one's good. All right, now I'm gonna start this. I gotta put the trimmer attachment in. This is my 2016 Ryobi OA251PH powered 25 cc gas engine full crank. And now I have a J handle installed because I was because I bought a trimmer plus brush cutter attachment with it. And thinking I'm gonna put the regular handle back on soon. So this is a 25cc 4 crank engine. Let's go ahead and start it up. Put it full choke. So, you hold the throttle just like the other one. And the starter handle is at the back. So I think you can tell it's a 4 crank. A half crank engine will be the starter handle like in the middle. So this is behind the housing. Hear that you near the geese honking. Anyway, now it's time for the blowers. And next part with your lawnmowers. Alright. First blower I'm gonna start is my 2002 Echo PB200 handle blower. Now there were some uh things I did have to repair. I had to um I had to repair the uh the fuel lines and yeah, oh, I also had to get a new primer bulb too. The fuel ones were just a few years ago. The primer bulb was uh, last year in August. And it doesn't press that well, which is why I'm gonna have to edit this. Uh, 
because I have to prime it so many times because there's just like like it is fully tight but there's just not enough uh gas getting into the prime bulb like you have to press it like you have to press it so many times I don't know what's wrong with it all right anyway turn it on choke prime bulb is right yeah I'm gonna Alright, let's just start and see what happens. Here we go. If I can start this one, there you go. Now let's try out the Itachi 23.9 cc gas engine. And uh, yeah, see if that one starts. Joke. Oh no, I have a leaking problem, which is the fuel line. So I go slow. That's good. Seventy percent my battery. Good. Wow, that ran pretty good. Alright, next is my 2015 Ryobi two cycle gas lower back. 26cc two cycle gas engine, same engine as that Ryobi SS26. Alright, let's uh, start this one up. No full choke. Now you probably have seen a uh, video of this before it was uh me doing these uh oh take it out the spell plug video to like six thousand views i don't know why you people are watching my video so let's see it starts let's start
level is pretty high. All right, next is my 2016 Echo PB265 Olin Bad Pep Lord. This uses a 25.4 cc two stroke engine. Same displacement as the Echo SOM266 gas turbo. Bad I don't know if it sounds the same, but this just sounds a lot better. It's on on choke. We're gonna see if it starts. So I just have to do sits. How much time? This is the I go in solar system. you ran good all right now is my 2016 steel br200 uses a 27.2 cc two-stroke stratified charge engine but it's called a two mitts yeah this is the same engine as used in the steel gas chambers the that replaced my fs55 all at the fs56 Oh, the FS40, 50, 56, like I said. The, um, uh, the prime out. This has semi automatic choke, so it's really nice. That's fine. And that's a pretty good blow. I'll start it up. <laughs> That was sick. Two holes. I thought this one was going to take four or five. This is what it used to be. That is sweet. Last one is my 2017 Ryobi BP42 Bapet Blower. It's actually the most powerful blower, gas Bapet Blower I've had. 185 miles power and 510 cubic feet per minute. I'm out from a 42cc engine. Alright, let's go and start up. There's two fuel in it because I, um, I used it probably like two months ago, I think, when I was blowing some of my driver. Anyway, it's a full choke. I think it's 30 minutes, so it is long, but... Let's go and start it.
guys, so that is the video for today about getting my trimmers and blowers running. As you saw, they all started uh, great, except my Echo PB200, which I think I'll probably start that one soon. So, yeah, because it's just it's hard starting. I know it runs, but I'll just find out what's wrong with it and then I'll do the video of giving the PB200 running. And hopefully, in, all right, so I right, so hope you guys enjoy watching my cold starts of giving the Tumbers and Blowers running for 2020. Because right now, it's time to do my two lawnmowers, my Honda HRM 215 and my lovely one, my 2003 Duraforce Lawnboy 10323, which we'll see in the next video. Alright guys, so hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.